Hi, my name's Cass. Welcome to the Auto Parent Podcast with my mom. Hello, hello. That's true. I'm his mom. I'm also your host for the Auto Parent Podcast. My name is Reverend Casey Vanatta Casebeer. I am an associate pastor and director of family ministries at Foundry United Methodist Church in Washington, D.C., and I'm a mom. Y'all, whatever we need this podcast to be, whether it's a space for solidarity or hope, to receive permission to tell guilt and shame to kick rocks. Whatever we need for this parenting journey, I pray we find it here together. So come on, let's pray toward it and let's do it. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Auto Parent Podcast. I'm your host, Pastor Casey. And for episode 18, I thought we would do something different. So... It's May, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, and I just wanted to take some time and check in with our mental health. I want to tell you a little bit about my mental health journey. I want to invite you to reflect on your own, and and maybe we'll have some solidarity together and come out with some hope. After all, that is our auto-parent goal. I have struggled with anxiety most of my adult life. I remember the first panic attack I ever had. I was very confused. I didn't know what was going on. I was in an environment that wasn't very healthy, and I was 22, and I thought I was broken. That was the first time that I began to take medicine to quell the panic within me. And since then, I've been sort of in a cycle of taking medication, feeling honestly like shit about it and trying to will myself off of it. I've had numerous panic attacks, uh, trying to manage everything that's going on. Um, and honestly taking that stress and anxiety and pushing it as far down as I possibly can until it comes out in other ways. It's, damaged my health. It's, um, it literally made my hair fall out. Um, and now I find myself on Lexapro. Let's just thank God for Lexapro in this moment. I've been on Lexapro for about six months now. Um, I finally feel like my anxiety is managed. And so I want to say to you, if you take any kind of medication for anxiety or depression, that is a tool in your toolbox. That is not a weakness. That is not an indicator that you are broken. That is a tool that you have at your disposal in your toolbox, Um, as well as psychiatrists, as well as medical professionals, as well as therapy as well as spirit. We have all of these things in our toolbox, but you are not broken if you take medication to manage anxiety or depression. You are not broken if you had a child and after that you experienced postpartum depression. You are not broken if sometimes you have panic attacks because you can't manage the stress in your life. You are not broken If in the midst of a pandemic, you find yourself with zero to little coping mechanisms, you are not broken. And this month, this Mental Health Awareness Month, I want to create space for us to be open and vulnerable, to share stories, to know that we are in this together. My anxiety does not rule my life. I am not at the mercy of my anxiety. And I wonder how you feel about yours. If you have diagnosed anxiety or if you just have stressors here and there, or if you have diagnosed depression, how is your mental health? Are you checking in with yourself? Are you able to see when you get stressed and you start to over-regulate everything in your life or you start to procrastinate more or you start to stay in bed more or 
any of those mechanisms that we have, how is your mental health? And if you're a parent, whoo, how is your mental health? <laughs> uh, for me, I am struggling every single day, struggling every single day. I have these mindfulness meditations that I come back to over and over and over again. One of them is just feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Another one is I am not alone. That's one thing for sure. I can't even go to the bathroom alone. I am not alone. (laughs) And so I just... See, there's a dog for you, (laughs) which speaking of mental health, he's usually good to cuddle up with. So if you have any fur friends in your life, I hope that they bring you joy and help comfort you and support you. Find things this week that can reinforce your wholeness, your completeness, your wellness, and your mental health, and know that you are not on that journey alone. The Foundry Family Ministries and Foundry Community are with you. The Auto Parent Podcast Family is with you. If you would like to share your mental health journey or stories or how you've been struggling lately or how you've been coping lately or things that have helped you, you can do so directly via email. You can email parents at foundryumc.org or you can reach out to us on Twitter or Instagram at Auto Parent. And now let's say a prayer together. God, on this day, remind us that we are created good. And we are created in the image of Christ, whose body is the very substance of our being. Christ is elemental to us. God, remind us that we are baptized in the waters that give us life and breath and newness and a chance to start over or start again or pick up where we left off. God, remind us that we are not broken, that we are whole, that we are cared for, that we are lifted up in community together. God, grant us peace. Help us to recognize where we need spirit and where we need therapy and where we need medication. Help us to use all of the tools in our toolboxes and to not be shamed or guilted or condemned for the tools that we are using. God, help us to remember that these tools are holy tools and that our mental health is part of our spiritual well-being. God, help us to know that it is okay for us to care for ourselves because in doing that, we are caring for the Christ that lives in us. Fill us with your grace and mercy, enough for ourselves and enough to go around and grant us hope that we can continue this journey together, knowing that we are loved, that we are whole, that we are spirit-filled and that we are perfect, just the way that we are. We pray these things in the name of the triune God. Amen. Well, I'm going to be a little bit more transparent with you and tell you that a lot of my anxiety comes from perfectionism. I'm not even a recovering perfectionist, I like to say. It's something that I talk to my therapist about every single week. My goal is perfection all the time. And you know what? This podcast wasn't perfect. And so I'll leave us with one more mantra for this episode. And that's that it's okay to not be perfect. Or this, it is good to not be perfect. Because friends, if we don't believe that, it's going to be really hard to convince our kids. I've been your host, Pastor KC. You can follow me on Twitter at RevKCBC. And remember to be gentle with yourselves. You don't have to be an auto parent to be a good one. Join us next week, same time, same place. 
find out more information about Foundry United Methodist Church by visiting our website, www.foundryumc.org. If you're specifically looking for information about our Family Ministries Department or our offerings for parents, you can find those at www.foundryumc.org slash family ministries. Thank you.